What's up everyone and welcome to a new Integral Audio Upload. We have a new multi-effects processor that has a massive range of unique sounds from Air Music technology. It's called Sprite. It combines the ease of use with a powerful engine to get interesting combination of effects on your sounds. This will work on pretty much anything like vocals, synth and instruments. So if you like this sort of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and visit IntegralAudio.com to read more about it. Without any further ado, let's get started. Before going over the plugins, controls, and parameters, let's have a quick sound test on a simple plug progression. That was basically two copies of the same synth on top of each other. One was dry and the second one had sprite over it. I then mixed both of them and panned the width signal a little bit to give it more width and have it sound more exciting. One more effect you could apply to the width signal is gentle and tasteful pitch drifting to make it more alive and interesting. And now I'm going to play to you the signal that was going through sprite. Another sound test with simple and beautiful guitar chords. very basic effects that could take you a long way. They sound very good and we will have more guitar examples later on in this video. Now for the user interface and controls on this one. As you can tell, the interface is super clean and everything seems to be well placed. But it might feel like it's taking a lot of screen real estate, especially if you're using one monitor only. So you could go ahead and set the scale to something that you see fit. But I'm just going to keep it at 80% for now. We have here five global controls. We have the input and EQ, which could be turned on or off with a width for the amount of stereo separation done by the effect, as well as a gain slider and an output meter. And then we have five main effects or controls as well, like distortion and uh, there's a depth and a mix. Depth, of course, is gonna be the amount of distortion applied to the, uh, to the signal. And there's different types and profiles of distortion. You could turn the effect on or off by pressing on the center sphere in here. So this is a, a sample without any effects. And this is with distortion. Let's try vinyl. This one's more transparent. Synth. Okay, pretty cool. It's gonna work really well on guitars. And then we have uh, mod one, which is gonna be flutter, wow, tremolo, and auto pan. Let's try this as well. It comes with the rate. It's gonna be just the frequency of the effect and depth. Okay, sounds pretty cool. And then we have a chorus, multi-chorus, phaser, or flanger. Sounds good. And now we have standard delay and reverb on here. For the delay, there's different types like single, dual, or cross. And for the time, it could be synced to the tempo or you could just set it in milliseconds if you want. I'm just gonna set it to the tempo like that. Maybe have it add. And you could choose the volume, of course. 
and for the reverb we have the time and volume and there's different types of reverb on here let's try gritty okay and then we have delay and reverb um, uh, dedicated uh, controls like EQ and compression there is also a mix slider on here as well as a depth these effects could be turned on or turned off as you wish the more interesting parts are yet to come if you are the type of person that likes to have complete control over the effects and everything that affects their signal then you can press on the edit button on the top corner on here this will show you the way to deeper control over everything you dial in so first there is an EQ for the output signal it's pretty basic with three bands, but it will be pretty helpful if you need it. You can adjust the depth of each band separately for different frequency regions like low, mid, and high. There's also EQ presets that you can choose from. And there's a width slider as we mentioned earlier with gain and limiter controls. Like for distortion, there is more controls like smoothness and filters. And for mod 1, there is drift and stereo, and so on with every effect. Then, there is a very nice touch of a pitch shifter for the reverb and reverb and delay together, with extra controls like the interval and mods. And lastly, there are deeper EQ and compressor controls over the reverb and delay alone. Let's have some samples, and I'll start with live guitar. Now air sprite distortion To get that heavy sound, you have to put air sprite before your amp simulator in the plugin chain. It sounded good and full. It's not that heavy, but definitely crunchy enough. It's also good for live performances if you're into that kind of a thing. There was no latency whatsoever. The first signal had reverb on it from the synth plugin itself. I then added more reverb, delay and chorus effects with some saturation to the process signal to make it wider and more dreamy. Again, a similar process by adding slight reverb and delay to give it width and deepness. I also used the plugin's EQ and filters on this one. The night begins to fall on us. Get a little closer. The night begins to fall on us. Get a little closer. 
I added some pitch shifting to the delay and reverb this time with some EQ. It sounded okay, but I prefer using this on instruments and on synth. I used some of the plugin's presets in the previous examples. They are good for inspiration and some presets are actually inherently good to be used right away, of course depending on the context. In conclusion, I think it's a versatile tool and it's definitely worth checking out. Having all of your effects at one place has its perks, and most importantly it's excellent for experimenting. You might want to use this one extensively so you have a way around it, and at some point it might really be the only effects tool that you need. And this brings us to the end of this video, I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this, and visit integraraudio.com for more details and reviews. Thank you.